Welcome. Good morning, my social media superstars. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Social Media Saturdays. I am your host, Taria Hodge, and I'm super excited to bring you another what I call a fabulous episode. Today, we are going to talk about five ways that you could power up your professional and your personal brand on social media. So if you are out there and you are with me and you could hear me and you can see me, um, do me a favor, just go ahead and drop me a link inside the video in the comment section underneath the video. And just let me know, Taria, that I could see you. Taria, I could hear you. And then we are going to get ready to rock and roll this morning. And I see that Audrey. Hi, Audrey. How are you? Thank you for jumping on and joining us this morning on this fantastic episode of Social Media Saturdays. So if you could see me, or what well, I know you could see me because I'm watching the feed, but if you can hear hear me, um, Audrey, do me a favor, just type a comment in the comment section below the video and let me know, Taria, I can hear you. I want to make sure before we get started today that the sound for the video is fine. Okay. So wonderful. Thank you for so much for jumping on and joining. So if this is your first time joining in on Social Media Saturdays. Thank you for that, um, Audrey. Audrey says, on board, all is good. Great. Thank you so much for giving me the thumbs up this morning. So if this is your first time um, tuning in to Social Media Saturdays, let me just take a minute to introduce myself. I am the host, Taria Hodge, of Social Media Strat Saturdays. And what I am, I'm a social media strategist, um, business trainer, and I am also real business coach okay so what social media saturdays is it's an online live broadcast platform dedicated to share, showing entrepreneurs, business owners, and business professionals how to leverage the power of social media in their business, okay? And I see that Colette has jumped on and joined us. Good morning, Colette. Thank you so much for jumping on and joining, okay? So today we are going to have a wonderful episode. We're going to talk a little bit today about your personal and your professional branding on social media. So I see that Dr. Ed Womack from Man Rise Up and We Rise, we Rise Media has jumped on and joined us this morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Ed, for jumping on and joining. And I see um, Trey Williams um, jumped in and joined us. Good morning, Trey. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And Trey um, is asking that I just thought a minute ago. Yes, Trey, you have not missed anything. We are just getting started. So thank you for jumping on and joining. Okay. So today we're going to talk a little bit about your know, personal and your professional branding. And one of the things I have to say, I absolutely love doing the show because when I do the show, one of the, the greatest um, joys for me and the greatest benefits is to, to go back and look at the comments and um, watch all the feedback and see all of the mm -hmm. wonderful responses that we get, you know, throughout the show. And so last week, we did a talk last week, we talked about what did we talk about last week? Oh, we talked about content curation, right? How to really use content creation as part of your social media strategy or your content plan when you put together um, your, your social media plan, right? And so I had a young lady that reached out to me and she actually said to me, you know, I want to do more on social media, but I have um, exposure phobia. That's what she actually called it. She actually called it exposure phobia. And I was just like, oh, wow, that's um, really interesting. So one of the things that, um, that I do is that I love to go back and do research and, you know, kind of find out exactly, you know, what's really going on, you know, what's in the marketplace out there. And I did find out that there is such a thing as fear of social media, okay? So fear of social media is actually a thing. It's called visio bibliophobia. And I know I just like butchered that, okay? But visio bibliophobia is, you know, actually a thing. And it, it got me to thinking. And one of the things that I absolutely pay attention to is when I have um, three or more people who are asking the same questions, that gives me kind of, 
kind of a cue, okay, that I have to, you know, come on and do, you know, an episode and really talk about it. So I think that the, the fear is really stemming from not knowing, you know, what to post on social media. And when I say knowing what to post, you know, on social media, how um, in depth do you go um, with your, your personal side of, of, so, social media and how does your personal branding on social media affect your professional branding so that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today okay so i'm going to share with you five ways that you could power up your professional and your personal brand on social media so i promise you it's going to be fun okay so um yes ed says good morning superstars and Teresha, thank you Teresha, for jumping on and joining but before we get into the meat and the potatoes you know of today's episode in true social media saturday's fashion i want you you guys to take a minute to introduce yourself to the other members of our mm -hmm. social media Saturdays community. Okay. So if you are out there and you are watching, please take a minute in the comment section to let me know where you are watching from. So if you are here in the DMV area, I'm in the DMV area, Maryland, DC, Virginia area. So if you are watching from the DMV this morning, I want you guys to type in the comment section to Rhea, I am watching from the DMV, okay? So if you are watching from across the US, Okay, I want you to make sure that you put your city and you put your state where you are watching from. So go ahead and let us know where you are watching of watching from. And if you are watching internationally, so I love this because social media Saturdays, you know, is seen all across the world. Okay, um, so if you're watching from international, let me know what country you are watching from. Make sure that you put it in the comment section and. If you're hailing from the Caribbean, to for all my Caribbean family, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Just let me know where you are watching from. Also, I want you to take a minute to share with the other superstars in the community how you serve in your business, okay? So take a minute to drop a line below and let us know how you serve in your business and also share with us who you serve in your business. So this is one of the things that I absolutely love to do, you know, with um, Social Media Saturdays is because it, once again, this is a wonderful community of entrepreneurs, business professionals and business leaders. And one of the really cool things about it is this is a platform where, you know, you could actually connect with people who could help you in your business, okay? So, you know, I like to say it all the time, you know, I don't do everything business-wise, but I have a wonderful, awesome community of superstars. And if there's any way that you guys, you know, could connect and learn a little bit more about how you could help each other, that's one of the greatest joys of being a part of the group, okay? So make sure that you drop a line and you let us know who you serve in your business and how you serve in your business. And then last but not least, I want you guys to go ahead and put the link to your Facebook business page. So if you have a Facebook business page, make sure you include the link to your Facebook business page in the comment section below, okay? And you could simply do that by typing in um, www.facebook.com dot com forward slash the handle of your Facebook business page. And if you do that and you add a space, then your page will show directly below into the comment feed. All right. So make sure you take a minute to do that. And I see that Dr. Ed is sharing. Um, Dr. Ed says, happy social media Saturday. My name is Dr. Ed Womack, the urban leadership strategist, and I'm residing in Atlanta, Georgia, and as the founder of We Rise Media Network. Okay, so our mission is to provide entrepreneurs, speakers, and authors tools, education, and a platform to expand their brand. So how cool and how awesome is that? If you are out there and you are looking to expand your brand, Dr. Ed Womack of Man Rise Up and We Rise Consulting, you know, will actually help you do that. We Rise Media Network. So thank you so much, Ed, for going ahead and dropping your information into the comment section out there. Okay, so 
once again, don't miss this opportunity to share your information because I promise you, um, the, the video is being aired. I, I don't take the videos down for social media Saturdays. And one of the cool things is that I see that throughout the week, people are tuning in and they're watching the video on replay. Okay. And this, once again, is a great opportunity for you to be able to connect with other like-minded individuals. Okay. And before we get started, um, just one more thing. I am going to ask you to share out this video this morning. Okay. So if you are on here, and you're watching and you're, you're thinking to yourself, yes, maybe there's some things, you know, that I could do um, for my brand as well. And you're thinking that this is great information. I want you to go ahead and share this out with other individuals, okay, other colleagues, other friends, you know, who can benefit from this this morning. So if you look below the video, you'll see that there's a share button. Now there are three ways that you could share, okay? So you could hit the share button and you could share the video directly out to your timeline. And that would let your friends and your network know what you're doing on this beautiful day, okay? So you're learning how to power up your personal and your professional brand. Also, you could share the video by actually um, copying and pasting the link and sending it. Um, now Facebook allows you to do it via messenger. Okay. So you could go ahead and send someone um, a private invite. How cool is that? So you could send five people that you know, a private invite to watch the video this morning. And then last but not least, if you are out there and you are an influencer and you do manage a, a Facebook group or you do manage a group and this information um, will benefit your members, please go ahead and take a minute and share it out to your group as well. Okay. So those are the three ways that you could go ahead and you could share the video. You could post it directly on your timeline. You could go ahead and invite five people that you know, five other entrepreneurs, five other business owners, five other business leaders, okay? And you could share this information to help them power up their personal and professional brand this morning. And then you could also go ahead and share it to your group if you manage a group. And I think I saw Ed just, just shared it. So thank you, Ed, so much for that. And Deronda, I see you. Thank you for jumping on and joining this morning, okay? All right. So today, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about five ways to power up your personal and your professional brand. Now, I'm talking about this topic because, you know, I had a, a few people actually um, ask me, you know, there's there's a fine line of what to post on, on social media and how you show up on social media. So I thought I'd get on today and we'll um, talk a little bit about that. So one of the biggest concerns that I see that people have is that you know what, I have my, you know, my business, okay, and then I also have my personal life, okay, so how do I find a common ground, and how do I find like a, a, a good mix, how do I share and give people the opportunity to know who I am, and what it is that, you know, I do, and my mission, and the things that I believe in, without actually oversharing, okay, and so today, we're going to talk a little bit about that, Okay, so if that's you, if that's if you're out there, you're watching and you're asking or ha you've ever asked yourself those kind of questions when it comes to social media, just go ahead and drop me a one in the comment section and then just let me know like, hey, Taria, you know, you know, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for some time. But, you, you know, even for me, I kind of get a little shy on what to post on social media. So if that's you. Okay, um, just go ahead and drop me a one into the comment section and let me know. Okay, all right. So the, the first thing I'm going to share um, with you as you start to think about ways that you could develop your personal and your professional branding on social media. The first thing I'm going to consider um, for you to do is to make sure that you tap in to the why behind what you do. So as entrepreneurs and business leaders, okay, there's always a why. Why? 
Okay, so what is your big why? And are you able to share your big why with your audience? And, and when I say your big why, I'm talking about your unique story, your, your values, your, your talents. Are you able to tap in, you know, to the passion? Do people really understand and know the reason why you do what you do? Okay, so, you know, for those of you who, you know, who, who are, you know, tuning in to social media Saturdays for the very first time. And, you know, you have, you know, this is your first opportunity to get to know me. I'll share with you a little bit about my why. Okay. So my why I, I believe that as just as people, we should be living the best life that we can live. Okay. And I started my business, I think it's been eight years now. I stepped out in 2008. Okay. Because when I took a look at the quality of the life that I was living, okay, it, it, it just was not, you know, healthy. Okay. So I was in the corporate space, you know, doing very well, had a nice, you know, nice job, you know, made decent money, what I consider decent money, but the cost, the price that I was paying, you know, to, to, you know, live that lifestyle, you know, just was not conducive to my health. It was not conducive to my family. Okay. So, you know what? I said, there had to be a better way. Okay. I wanted to live a life where, you know, I'm not sick. I used to suffer from chronic migraines. Okay. And just every day. So just imagine that you have a headache every single day of your life and just, it never goes away. It just, you know, gets a little bit better or it gets worse. Right. But it's always there. That used to be my life, you know, about 10 years ago. And I decided that, you know what, I wanted something different. What I wanted also was to be able to spend time with my family. Okay. So most of you know, um, most of you that know me, you know, I'm from the Caribbean. Okay. So I now have the ability to spend half of the year here in um, the U.S. in the Maryland area. And then the other half of the year in the Virgin Islands with my family. And that used to be a very big deal for me. Okay. So I used to, you know, dread like, oh my gosh, you work so hard for a company. And whenever it's time for you to go ahead and take vacation, it was a big deal. Okay. And like I, I ran out of family members, okay, to go to funerals. That's how serious it was. And I just wanted something different. And so I heard people talking about entrepreneurship. And one of the things that they said is when you become an entrepreneur, you create your own time. You, you give your yourself back your time with your life. Okay. So I started on this journey eight years ago. And one of the things that I do is that, you know, I show, you know, other, you know, entrepreneurs that it is possible for you to have a business and your business can support all the things that you decide to do or you desire to do in your life. So if your desire is to travel, your, your business can help you support that. If it's to spend more time with your family, you can build a business that allows you to support that. So one of the things I'm um, very big um, as part of my messaging is to let people know that it is possible. Okay. So that's number one. When you start to think about putting together your, your, your personal and your professional brand, and you're tying all of these things into your messages, into your conversations on social media, make sure that you share your why, okay? Why are you doing what you do? And give people the opportunity that they could connect with you and they could connect with you authentically. So I hope that this is helping someone, you know, out there this morning, okay? So um, the second way that you could power up your personal and your professional brand, I'm gonna share with you five ways, okay? The second way, that you could um, power your brand up is know exactly who do you serve, okay? So who are you called to serve in your business? And are you taking time to take a look at your audience and know what interests your audience and know what challenges your audience are facing, okay? What dreams do they have? What is it that they want to accomplish in life? And what steps is it gonna take for them to get there? So this is one of the, the things that I make sure 
that I ask every single, you know, time we do a social media Saturdays episode, I ask you guys to put into the comment section who you serve. Who do you serve in your business? And for some of you, like Dr. Ed Womack, Okay. He, you know, he knows it. He, he has it. He's able to put it there every single Saturday and let people know who he serves in their business and for others. Okay. You know, you're still trying to really, you know, kind of nail it. Okay. And say, well, who, this is who exactly I'm called to serve. So I'm sharing with you some of the things that, you know, as you take a look at the people that you are serving, you know, your products and your services, your programs are called to serve in your business, really get to know your ideal audience, really get to know your ideal client. Okay. And a lot of times we talk about knowing that 2 a.m. problem, but that 2 a.m. problem, you know, is only part of it. Okay. So what, um, what interests, what excites your ideal client? And are you able, you know, to go ahead and share that? Those are things that you could include, you know, as you develop your content strategy, you could start to share information with them that not only speaks to the challenges that they're facing, but it also speaks to the desires that they're trying to achieve, the dreams that they're trying to achieve as well. Okay. So the third way that you can power up your personal and your professional brand is to get to know your it factor. Okay. So what is your it factor? What is it that sets you apart from everybody else in your industry? Do you know what your it factor is? And are you sharing your it factor with your audience? Okay, so I see that Helen Davis is out here. Thank you, Helen, for jumping on and joining us this morning. And Helen is watching all the way from South Carolina. So Helen, do me a favor, make sure in the comment section below, you take a minute to let us know how you serve in your business and who you serve in your business and make sure that you put the link to your Facebook business page in the comment section below. So as um, we share this out, guys, I hope this is like really, um, you know, resonating and really making sense, you know, for you. And if you are out there and you want to receive the notes, okay. So one of the things that I also make sure that I'm doing is giving you guys the opportunity to walk away from each, um, each social media Saturdays episode with a note sheet. Okay. So if you want to receive the copy of the notes, make sure that you type the word brand in the comment section below the video. Okay. And that would allow you to get the notes. So um, Deborah Norcutt is saying, no, I'm not sharing my it factor. How do you figure that out? Well, Deborah, let me tell you, yes, your, your it factor and knowing what your it factor is, could be the, the, the best thing or the biggest thing that you could do for your business and you could do for your brand. Okay. So let me share with you what your it factor is. Your it factor is, is, the, is those unique qualities that that you possess those things that you do in your business that you do better than anybody else out there in the marketplace okay so here's the thing you know a lot of times the things that we do in our business aren't unique out there you know, in the world, unless we have some inventors, if we have some inventors, you know, that's on the, um, that's on the episode, let me know that you're an inventor. Okay. But um, chances are, you know, there, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of people. Okay. Who do what you do in your business. So it's not a matter of sometimes what we do in our business is how we do what we do in our business. Okay. So how are we able to use our unique our unique set of skills, our unique understanding, okay, even in the way that we work with people, okay, or even the niche of people who we are called to work with, those things could be a part of your it factor, Deborah, okay, so as you um, start to, you know, you know, really sit and take a look, write out those things, 
you know, that are unique to you and unique to your brand. Take a look at how you serve, you know, people with your products and your services and say, hey, you know what? This is what I do best. This is how I do this, you know, better than anybody else out mm -hmm. there in my industry. OK. All right. And like I said, one of the things um, that I encourage you to do, if you provide a product, a product and a service that's specific, you know, to um, a, a, a specific segment of people, that could be your it factor. OK. So if you're out there and Colette, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick on you a little bit, Colette. OK. So if you are out there and one of the things that you are absolutely good at is building websites. Um, for churches, okay, then you need to start to talk about that, okay, in your business that people know not only am I a web designer or I'm a, I'm a web developer, okay, but this is where I specialize, this is where I shine, because I understand, you know, that market, you know, um, and that's where, you know, I accept. OK, so it's just little things like that. You know, you could start to share as you develop your messages, you start to share your content out there on social media that would allow you to attract the right people to your business. OK, um, the fourth way that you could power up your 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 brand is to know what your message. OK, so Deborah, I see. Yes, thank you for explaining. So yes, Deborah, I'm glad that that helped you today. OK, so number four, what is your message? So another reason why I get on here every Saturday and I ask you guys, you know, to make sure that you share OK, how you serve in your business. It's it's the equivalent of giving like a virtual um, 30 second elevator pitch. OK, so I know we've all heard about, you know, having an elevator pitch and how you are able to um, introduce yourself very quickly. But are you able, you know, to summarize what it is that you do? in your business into a memorable phrase that could easily be conveyed to anyone at any time. So if someone says, hey, how do you serve in your business? Are you able to tell them exactly who you serve and how you serve in your business? So what's your message? Okay, so who are you called to serve? Who are you called to impact? And how are you called to show up in the world? Make sure that you're giving people the opportunity, you know, to know that because once again, that is part of what helps us and allows us to attract and draw the right people to our business. Okay. So I say it all the time, you know, I'm not here, you know, I'm not called, you know, to work with everybody. I'm not called to serve everyone okay but for those unique individuals okay that that i'm called to serve and i'm called to help and let me just tell you this i'm called to serve those people who have the need to impact the lives of others okay so those are the people you know that i resonate very well with in my business okay and i do my best once i understand you know how you serve and the impact that you're trying to make in your business that's what gives me fuel in my business to help me keep going and i help people do that by leveraging you know all of this one of all of these wonderful tools that we have on on online and social media is a tool and that's one of the things that people People want to know how in the world can they use social media, you know, to help them, you know, leverage their business, help them grow in their business. OK, so social media is not just about having a whole bunch of activity, putting up a whole bunch of postings or, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff and you're not able to see direct results or you're not able, you know, to guide people or guide your ideal clients to where you want them to you know, to go on how you could best serve them. Okay. So that's what I do. So start to think about, you know, ideally, what is your message, you know, to the marketplace? And are you able to convey your message to the marketplace? Does it show up in your branding? And, and once again, when we talk about branding, one of the things that I'm going to share, branding is more than, than just your colors or your logos or your imagery that you have online. The reason why we're talking about this, because the major part of branding is the conversations that your 
also having in the marketplace as well, okay? So, and the fifth way that you could power up your your personal and your professional brand, you know, recognize the unique opportunity that you have, okay? So when I say recognize um, the unique opportunity that you have, this is what I mean. Um, if you're out there and you are an entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, a business leader right now, okay, you um, have the greatest opportunity for you if you are in the beginning stages of your business, okay? So if you're out there, you know, and, you know, not, not necessarily, you don't only have to be new, okay? But you're in a space where, you know, you're just starting to really understand your groove, okay? You have a, a unique opportunity, okay, in, ahead of you. And what this means is that you have the ability, you know, to go ahead and, and share, okay, what it is that you do. Um, you're able to go ahead and impact the lives of people. And you could do that, okay, without necessarily having the burden of having you know, a huge and large overhead, okay? So make sure that you recognize that that's also part of your opportunity as well. And so Deronda is out there. Deronda says, good morning, Taria. Good morning, Deronda. Thank you so much for jumping in and joining this morning. And Helen Davis is out there. And Helen says, I also service consumers with virtual healthcare and identity protection services. People say, Save time and money with our virtual doctor visits. Oh, Helen, I love that. A lot of people are un uninsured and can use our services for one low monthly fee and no per visit charge. And thank you, Helen, so much for going ahead and putting the link to your Facebook business page out there, okay? So this is exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> okay? Um, on being able to share what it is you do and how you help in you know, how you help with your business, because I know, um, Helen, that's a big issue for a lot of entrepreneurs, right? As you start to, you know, grow your business, especially if this is the only thing that you're doing, okay? You don't have, you know, the ability to have, you know, a sponsor, you know, a W, um, a W2 or W4 sponsor, however you put it, it's been so long, I can't remember, <laughs> Okay, but you you know you may not have a sponsor. So Ellen Helen is saying right. So if this is what you need, okay, she'll be able um, to provide, or her company or her business provides you services that would allow you, okay, to um, get your health care in order. So thank you so much, Helen, for going ahead and sharing that with us this morning. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to um, share with you four power tips. So let me, before I get into the tips, and I'm so excited um, about this because like I said, I had a really great time um, putting this content together because like I said, one of the biggest things, you know, that I hear all the time is just exactly what is it that I share, you know, in my business. Okay. So I'm going to share with you um, another way. One of the things that really works well, you know, for me, and I share this with my clients, you know, um, I think sometimes we do a really good job of uh, of posting um, what we, you know, have to post for, you know, our business. So we're able to tell people about the events. We're able to tell people, you know, about all the wonderful stuff that we're doing in our business. But how do, you know, you infuse that personal side, you know, of you without, you know, being too, um, too exposed or not sharing too much of your personal side, okay? So one of the things that I usually like to advise that you could do is you could pick, you know, a topic that's safe, okay? So, you know, do you, how many of you out there have a safe topic, okay? I know I have um, a couple of safe topics. And what do I mean about safe topics? Well, I have topics, you know, um, like I always talk about my family. I talk about my family all the time, you know, and I talk about my dad all the time. So if you go to my personal Facebook page, I mean, oh my gosh, I think my timeline is just flooded with stuff about, you know, my dad and my family, because that's what's important to me. Okay. But it's also a very safe space. Okay. So I don't have to worry about, you know, um, posting, 
you know, content that, you know, when I post the content, then I have to second guess in the back of my mind, you know, if my professional audience sees this, how would they react to it? Okay, would um, uh, unless that's your intentional, if, if that's your intent. So if your intent is to be controversial in the marketplace and that is part of your branding, then that it's fine. Okay, but for most people or some people, okay, that's not necessarily part of their branding. So what I, you know, encourage people to do, you know, is sometimes, you know, you could um, just kind of, you know, be careful of the things that you post, certain topics. I had that this week. Okay. Um, I had a client, you know, someone reached out to him, you know, on his, you know, business page and say, hey, can you share X, Y, Z? And so, you know, one of the things I was able to say was, well, okay, um, let's take a look at this, you know, um, what is your stance, you know, on the matter? Okay. And it turned out, you know, at, at surface level, Okay, the idea seemed okay, what they were asking seemed okay. But as we started to take a look at the audience, we took a look at his audience and how his audience might, you know, perceive this. Okay, we also realized that there's a whole underlying political matter behind of it. Okay, and so this is what I'm saying, you know, it's not only about the things that we want to share, you know, personally on social media. Okay, but it's also about our audience and the impact these things have on our audience. How will our audience, you know, react to these things? Okay, so once again, that's a fine line of, you know, having a blend between your personal and your professional brand on social media. So you always have to make sure that you are keeping your audience in line. Okay. Or, or in mind, not in line, but in mind. Okay. All right. So I'm going to share with you my four power tips. Okay. So I have four power tips. So the, the first thing that I want you to do, tip number one, if you are not doing this, you know, um, or you haven't done it uh, in a while, I want you to make sure that you go back and revise your bio okay so if you're out there you have a facebook business page you're on twitter you're on linkedin okay what is what does your bio say when was the last time that you took a look at your bio on your social media accounts okay so update your bio so make sure your bio is letting your audience um know number one that this is a professional account versus a personal account OK, because I'm telling you guys, people check these things out. OK, so you might not know what people see or you might not be paying attention to what people you think people see on social media, but people are looking and they're always checking. OK, so once someone encounters your account online, are they able to distinguish that this account? account is a personal account and they uh, versus a business or professional account and the way that you do that is that you make sure that you keep your bios updated okay now also in your bio make sure that you are using keywords that would allow you to increase your visibility Okay, so make sure that you're infusing your bio with keywords. So as people start to search keywords online, you increase the chances of them finding your online properties, right? And then also make sure that what you are sharing as part of your content is in alignment with your bio, okay? So please don't tell people, right, that you do social media and then, you know, when they go on your page, they see, um, let me see, let me pick an, an example. They see, you know, um, you know, hairstyles, like you're, you know, you're in the cosmetology field, okay? <laughs> so always make sure that your content is reflective of what you are sharing in your bio. So um, I see that Deronda has shared as a logistics liaison, I work with BTS to create, design, and promote signature events for new entrepreneurs. Thank you, Deronda, for sharing. And Audrey Hyman says, I serve seniors who are retired or looking to retire soon and would like to supplement retirement income 
or who would like to live a life of purpose, body, mind, and spirit through health and fitness excursions and trips. Yay, Audrey, thank you so much for going ahead and sharing that, okay? All right, so tip number two. In, make sure that you are including some personality in your professional profiles. So this is what we're talking about today, right? How to power up your personal and your professional brand. So when people go to your professional um, your professional pages on social media, once again, whether it be Twitter or whether it be Facebook, okay, um, can they easily see, you know, your personality shining through your content? So share content that would contribute to how people would see you in a positive light. So let me share that again. So make sure that you are sharing content that would allow your audience to see you in a positive light. Okay, so when you're sharing um, about your personal life, you know, are you sharing, you know, something that really um, speaks to your big why? So we talked about having your why earlier. So is your why able to show up in your content? Okay, or are you sharing your belief system? So when people once again connect with you and they want to do business with you, they understand the reason why they understand your why. OK, and they are buying in, you know, or tying into your why. And, and I can't say, guys, um, that is um, really huge and it's really, really, really powerful. So don't overlook it. OK, um, tip number three. And this is my power tip of the day uh, of all of the tips that I'm going to share with you. This is my favorite one, because I think it's the most overlooked one. So I'm going to bring some attention to it today. Okay. Make sure that you are managing your privacy settings. So let me say that again, make sure that you are managing your privacy settings. So how many of you, you know, um, have actually, you know, enabled or take a look at your privacy settings on social media? Okay, so if you're doing that, great. And if you don't know how to do that, then I'm going to share with you some of the things that you could do right now. Okay, because managing your privacy settings is one of the, the best ways, okay, that you could control the information or you could control the content that people see um, on social media. Okay, so the first thing that you could do is to make sure that you are um, when you share your content, okay, the, and I'm going to talk about Facebook for a minute, okay? So if you um, are sharing content on your personal profile, how many of you notice that there's a little drop down arrow and that drop down arrow will give you some options, okay? So you're making a post on Facebook, okay? And then there's a little arrow. OK, and that arrow says, you know what, I could share this content. I can make this content um, public so everyone could see it. OK, so if it's content and you don't mind, you know, people, your professional contacts and your personal contacts, you know, seeing that content, you could set that content to public. OK, how many of you guys have noticed that? All right. Now, also under that drop down menu, you have the ability to say that, you know what, I only want people who are my friends, okay, to see this content. You could also put people in lists. So let me say that again. You could also put people in lists on Facebook. OK, so you could create a list for just family members and you could share content that's only designed for family members or close family and friends. So you could also do that. And then lastly, you know, there's um, a, a drop down menu where you could share content with only yourself. OK, so now I used to say, why would someone be on social media and share content only with them, themselves? Right. Um, that makes sense to me. But, you know, I get it. If you're out there and you were testing, you know, stuff. OK. And you want to see how it shows up on social media. I do a lot of tests, you know, so not necessarily sometimes when I'm testing things that I want everybody to see what I'm testing. OK, so I utilize that option that says only me. 
okay? So make sure that you are utilizing your privacy sec your privacy settings. So it's not about stopping sharing information on social media, but it's controlling, okay? Um, who sees what on social media and you do have that control, okay? Um, also, Make sure that you have your privacy settings um, on your timeline. So you could do this on your personal page and you could also do this on your business page. And you could also do this in groups as well, okay? And so this gives you the, um, the ability to, if people are tagging you, so let me just say this, if people are tagging you in content, okay? So you might have, you know, um, people on your personal side and they're sharing, you know, you know, personal content, not necessarily private, but you don't want your audience to see that you could put, you could activate that setting on your timeline that allows you to approve your post before it shows on your timeline. So how many of you have that settings um, activated? And let me just let you know, it's very easy in the upper right-hand corner, you know, of your Facebook business page, there's a drop-down menu. You could simply go to settings and take a look at the settings, okay? So you could do that, okay? So you can make sure before content is posted either on your personal timeline or on your Facebook business page that you have to approve the content, okay? And the same thing with groups, you have the the ability, you know, to kind of screen, you know, the content that's shared, you know, inside your groups as well before it is shared in your groups. Okay. So that's like the biggest tip for me is to make sure that you are managing your privacy settings. Okay. And tip number four, once again, to know your audience, okay? So once you start to step out into this space and you are developing your professional brand, you have to be able, you know, to understand that, you know, it's not just about you, okay? It's about knowing your audience. So are you sharing content that will benefit your audience, that will make your audience feel that it's a joy and a pleasure to connect with you, okay? Or are you really, you know, sharing content that, you know, say, well, uh, you know, that's really not for me. Okay. So stay positive. That's another thing. There's a whole lot of things that we can be ranting about <laughs> on social media and not to say that you should not have a viewpoint on certain things. So that's not what I'm saying at all. But if you do share your point of view, make sure that you are um, sharing that point of view in a positive way. Okay. Whereas to once again, it's not really really um, turning your audience off, okay? And just also have the understanding that not every topic, you know, is right for every social media network. Okay, so um, yes, and Helen says I have. So thank you so much, Helen, for activating your privacy settings because I find number one, number one once again, is the biggest um, tool that we have out there um, for social media. And a lot of times we just don't, you know, activate it or we don't put it into use. Okay, so. Also, once again, make sure, guys, if you would love to receive the notes from today's episode to make sure that you type the word brand into the comment section, okay? So type the word brand into the comment section and you will receive the notes within the next 24 to 48 hours. So I'll say by Monday, you should have the notes waiting for you in your inbox, okay? So I hope that this has helped um, some of you today. So if this has really helped, you it resonated um with you let me know Taria this was good stuff okay so yes yes good stuff just let me know and then also if you have um any questions I'm going to open it up if you have any um particular questions um regarding how you show up you know on social media okay so how um if you have any concerns you know about overlapping with your personal brand and your professional brand you do need both okay but it becomes you know very imperative that you give that you know your content strategy some thought okay um before you go ahead and start posting okay so make sure especially when it comes to your professional pages you want to make sure that you give people that unique insight into who you are your big why and your message OK, but you, there's a way that you also do it. OK, so make sure that you are taking some time, you know, to plan things out. OK, so um, Tracy Robinson Ankara says good stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Tracy. Thank you for jumping in and joining us this morning. And Deborah says um, 
great stuff. You are the bomb.com. Thank you so much, Deborah, for that. And um, Helen has says, Helen says this has definitely helped. Thank you so much. And that's the whole point, you know, of jumping on and being on here on social media Saturdays. Like I said, you know, one of the things, this is the one of the biggest way that I love to give back and I and I love to share the value is that I get questions, you know, all the time. Okay, people reach out to me all the times, and these are like real concerns. So, like I started out this morning, I said, you know, that was in my inbox last week after I did last week's show. Presence actually said, I have exposure phobia. And I was just like, exposure phobia. Ah, uh, you know, what in the world is that? And I do, and I did find out that it's actually a thing. Okay, people really do have a fear of social media, and you don't have to, you know, um, let the fear of sharing, okay, um, shut you down or hold you back from, you know, positioning your business out there. It's just how you do it. So as you think about, you know, developing your content, we talked about, you know, we've actually been spending um, the whole month of what, July and into August now talking about content and developing a content strategy. So this conversation is also relevant to that as well. Okay. So yes, there, you do have some control with a little thought and a little bit of planning. Okay. You could be very strategic as well and use the personal things or your personal um, branding to help you develop your professional brand as well. And I think that that's one of the unique opportunities that we have as entrepreneurs. As entrepreneurs in this space, you know, we have the opportunity to kind of leverage who we are, you know, in the marketplace and our unique set of skills and gifts, you know, over some of the bigger companies where you don't know, you know, who's behind the brand. Okay. So make sure that you are taking advantage of that. Okay. Um, scheduling posts are a problem, but it helps. Okay, so Audrey, mm -hmm. so why um, are scheduling a scheduling posts a problem for you? Um, is it that you um, need um, tips on some of the best schedulers out there? So I could share with you um, a couple that you could use really quick. Um, Hootsuite, you could use Hootsuite. Hootsuite has a free version. Um, if that's the case, you could use Buffer. You know, I use both Hootsuite and Buffer, okay, to schedule my posts, okay? Um, I think there's another one out there. There's Meet Edgar. There, there's, a whole, there's a whole bunch of schedulers out there, but Hootsuite, Buffer, those are the two that I use in my business and the two that I use to manage for clients, okay? Now, if it's not the scheduler that you're having a problem with, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's the content strategy, right? So great tip. Once again, let me just share with you this great tip on um, content. If you could block off, and it doesn't have to be long, guys, okay? If you could block off, off like about an hour or two, maybe on the weekend, maybe a Saturday or maybe on a Sunday when it's a little, you know, kind of, you know, slow and you're, you're in the mindset or the mind frame, you're kind of relaxed to take a couple of hours every week to plan out your conversations, to plan out your content. Okay. And this is what I do for the show. Okay. So I have a day, you know, where I just dedicate a couple of hours. Usually it's on a Tuesday. I'm giving you guys all my secrets. Okay. So my planning day is on a Tuesday, right? And I take Tuesday to, to work on the episodes. What am I going to talk about? What do I need to get prepared? You know, what quotes do I need to share and everything? Okay. And I put it together and then those things, you know, um, you can put them into your scheduler and they go out. Okay. But it does take um, the planning. So make sure that you set aside some time that allows you to really sit down and plan. Okay. Now, planning and scheduling, I always say this all the time, it's not about setting it and forgetting it. It's about setting it and engaging with it. So even though you might be using schedulers, you know, to post your content, you want to make sure that you are going back and you are engaging with the content. You are checking for comments, okay? And you, you are, you know, really servicing your community as well, okay? And that's not to say that if the spore of the moment 
moment, you know, hits you that you can't go back and share um, what you want to share at the spur of the moment. You can do that too. But having a well thought out content strategy and planning it out also helps as well. Okay. So Audrey, I hope that that helps you. And then if you have um, any more questions or if you need me, Audrey, to help you with anything else, make sure that you send me a message in my inbox. Okay. And I'll reach out to you to see um, specifically what is it that you need um, help with. Okay. So um, also good tips about thanks. It's a schedule. Okay. All right. Also good tips about content. You are like drinking, you like, are you drinking refreshing water? Love the tips and strategies. Okay. Yes. So that, that's part of it. Um, Audrey, you know, is knowing and finding and putting together your content. Okay. Um, send me an inbox message, Audrey. Okay. And I'd love to reach out to you and see exactly where you are. Maybe I could share some more things that's unique to your industry that will help you out as well. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm making sure that I go back and see, hope that I did not miss any questions or any comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for jumping on and joining um, us this morning. And I think I have gotten all the questions, all the comments, and you guys are awesome, okay? So once again, if you wanna make sure that you get the notes, one of the things that I love about my superstars is that I noticed that you guys take wonderful notes in the comment section, okay? So thank you for that. And that just gave me the idea, why not compile the notes and put the notes together all in one place, okay? And send the notes out, okay? So by the end of the year, you know, hopefully you guys, once you get the notes, you're able to kind of print them, download and print them, save them. You will have, you know, a whole book, you know, filled with nothing, but notes and social media strategies that will help you improve um, your brand, okay? So once again, that's one of my, you know, big give backs and my value added to you guys because you guys are wonderful. You do such a wonderful job, you know, in, in helping me with the show. So thank you so much. And so if that is all, I am going to say have a blessed day um, to you and we will connect again um, on the next Social Media Saturdays episode. So thank you guys once again for jumping on and joining and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.